Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, it is time to take an inventory of what you are thinking and the emotional energy you are projecting during these days of conflict, turmoil and stress on your planet. Are you diluting or distorting the aura of harmony you have created around you by allowing yourself to be caught up in the chaos of miscreation and destruction that is taking place on planet Earth at this time? Are you engrossed in the scenarios that are being presented over and over again via the television, radio and newspaper media? Have you once more allowed yourself to be drawn back into the density of the negative environment of illusion? If your answer is yes to any of these questions, you are fueling the chaotic vibrations of the world situation with your energy instead of adding your love or light or power to that of other emissaries of peace around the world. Will you stand on the side of those whose greatest desire is to bring about a peaceful solution for the greatest benefit of all, or will you unintentionally align with those who wish to perpetuate separation, suffering and domination? We do not mean that you shouldn't stay informed as to what is taking place around the world, but we are saying that now, as never before, you must rise above what is occurring and join us as observers from a higher vantage point, a vantage point where there is no right or wrong way, only different shades of truth and different motives, a vantage point where no race, country or religion is totally righteous or blameless, nor totally in the wrong. Remember, each and every soul on earth carries a spark of the divine within. You must stay heart-centered and attuned to your higher self with a spirit-inspired consciousness so that your actions and decisions are always in alignment with the divine plan. Then, beloveds, you will stand among the ranks of the righteous ones whose greatest desire is to return the earth and humanity to a true state of peaceful CO existence in an environment where our Father or Mother God reigns supreme. Granted, there are those who have agreed to play the devil's advocate, those who are presenting your shadow side to you in its most destructive way. There are others who self-righteously claim to have only the highest, most altruistic motives, but we see and know the ulterior motives behind the decisions that are being made, and the actions that are being initiated in the name of peace and justice. The game of duality is being played out on earth in its most dramatic form right at this moment, and it is up to you as to whether or not you will be drawn into the swirling downward spiral of mass karmic action that is now taking place. We have spoken many times before about the laws of cause and effect, or for every action there is a reaction, which results in what is known as negative or positive karma. For many ages, you, as the enlightened ones, have been working diligently to bring into balance your personal karma, ancestral karma, and race karmic influences. That was a major part of the game of duality and polarity, returning to balance and harmony in all facets of your beingness. And so what will happen now as the winds of war, conflict and destruction swirl like a dark and heavy cloud around the earth, touching and affecting everything and everyone? It depends on what you are feeling and thinking, dear ones, what is on your mind and in your heart as to whether you will stand firmly in the light or add to the negative karmic thought forms that are being created each and every moment. Many of you have succeeded admirably in balancing your karmic ledger of life, and let us now call it that, your ledger of life, whereby you have a plus and a minus column and your goal is to turn the minuses into pluses or positive energy patterns. We are not asking you to passively sit by the wayside and do nothing. You are being asked to stand up and be counted for your dynamic life force energy is needed now as never before. You are much more powerful than you can imagine, my brave friends, you are playing an important role in attaining a peaceful solution to a very unsettling world situation. The energy you are radiating forth from your heart center has just as much an influence on the outcome of this great conflict as those who are on the front lines. You, too, are on the front lines, so to speak for you have the ability to tap into the pure, unmanifest creator substance and mold it into powerful thought forms and actions that can overcome any adversity. Those brave souls who have been called to the battlefield, no matter which side they are fighting for, if they are doing so with a desire for true justice for all, and with compassion of spirit for their fellow human beings, instead of hate, 
a desire for revenge and to enslave or control others, then they are functioning as righteous warriors, and the forces of heaven are with them. It has disturbed or confused many of you that we use the terms warriors of peace and warriors of light or what might be construed as militant terminology. Here again, there are many different interpretations and different facets of truth. Since the earth's and humanity's fall into the density of separation and pain, we have fought diligently for you and with you. We have fought the shadows of illusion, and the negativity created by your mass consciousness beliefs of fear, guilt and unworthiness. We have fought to assist you to reconnect with your divinity, and to help you remember how magnificent you truly are. We have diligently carried out the orders and directives handed down from our Father or Mother God and the Creator, assist our children to return to the light and to reclaim their divine heritage. Yes, we have been involved for eons of time in a war between the light of the Creator and the shadows of humanity, but our weapons have been love, compassion, understanding and support as you traverse the valleys of despair and seek to soar to the mountain tops of hope and illumination. If you will join us in our efforts to bring light unto the shadow world and hearts of humanity, if you will stand firmly in your convictions that ultimately right will prevail, knowing that only our Father or Mother God are aware of the total picture and what is truly the best outcome, if you can maintain a sense of peace and joy within and radiate the expansive love of the Creator to all humanity, then you are truly a warrior in our legions of light. Those who protest, shout and march for peace are adding their energy to the melting pot of chaos. They are not offering solutions or taking positive action, but laying blame and protesting the actions of others, while declaring that non-action is the only way to achieve peace and harmony. It is another form of fence-sitting, or not taking a stand. We have told you many times before, it is time to get off the fence, it is time to declare which side you will serve, the light or the shadow side. It is time to declare either that you are an emissary of the light, a blazing spark of the divine, and a co-creator of love, joy, abundance and harmony, or that you are a human being who is willing to take the easy way by following the dictates of others, thereby, for the time being, putting aside your divine birthright. Peace is an often used word in these unsettling times, and it can be interrupted in a multitude of ways. You use the term peace of mind, which means having a calm, tranquil state of mind that is free of discord, inharmonious thoughts, or mental conflict. Peace can mean a mutual agreement between two people, a family, a group, neighborhood, city, or nation, which benefits all who are involved, and which brings about a calm, serene and secure atmosphere, as well as lawful order. It can also mean a treaty or agreement to prevent or stop a conflict between two dissenting factions. You may be called a peaceable person or a pacifist because you are inclined toward or seek to promote a peaceful environment. You may seek peace or endeavor to keep the peace through conciliatory actions or by settling disagreements through compromise. Peace is the end result of achieving harmony and balance in any situation. Peace is never attained via the emotional nature or mind of the ego, but through the higher vibrational energies of spirit which always seeks the greatest or best outcome for all concerned. In your world of duality and polarity, the optimum goal is to seek harmony and balance in all things, but this harmony must begin from within. It must blossom within the heart as you allow spirit to descend and once more take dominion within your physical vessel. Then you will begin to see through eyes filtered with love, and listen with ears tempered by compassion. You will know that all you ever require is yours for the asking, and you no longer seek to take that which belongs to another. You always strive for a win or win solution, and you know that when one loses, everyone loses as well. You become champions of light, and you walk softly but courageously as you carry the blazing etheric sword of divine will, honor, truth and justice. You affirm what is your truth and you live your truth steadfastly with integrity and humility, teaching by example, and you allow all others the same right. You must first seek peace from within, beloveds, and when you find what you are seeking, you will radiate an aura of peace out into the world where it will be joined and magnified by that of others with a peaceful and harmonious nature. Together and in force, 
you can overcome any adversity, and you can create and enhance the cells or areas of light that you are building on Earth, as well as in the fifth dimension. And when those thought forms of light reach a certain level of magnification, they will miraculously begin to manifest on the earthly plane. Many of your visions are nearing that point and will manifest seemingly without effort. The final touches are being made and the preparations are almost complete, brave hearts, now watch for the wondrous results of all your steadfast efforts. Humankind's inhumanity toward one another has been an ongoing, never-ceasing process since the fall into density. Peaceful CO existence has hardly ever been the ultimate outcome of a conflict. The underlying intent has most often been to conquer, seize, and force others into submission without any consideration for the welfare of those caught in the middle or forced to fight. We explained several times how the chasm between the light and the shadows is widening, almost as if a world filled with the vibrational patterns of light is being superimposed over the third or fourth dimensional world of illusion and shadows. This condition is becoming more dramatically defined every day. It is imperative that you stay vigilant, heart-centered, and spirit-inspired each and every moment. You must learn to set energetic boundaries, and to constantly reinforce your shield or column of protective creator light. You must listen to the whisperings of your heart, for it is there that your angelic guides and teachers will leave treasures of wisdom for you to access and use. Go within, my faithful companions, and remember how, so many eons ago, we soared throughout the universe together, creating new galaxies, worlds, and civilizations beyond your wildest dreams. Remember how you had available to you all the divine substance of creation, and all you had to do was reach out with your mind and mold it into form? Remember how all you had to do was envision something and it miraculously appeared before you. Try to remember the many forms you have taken, some human, but also many different forms in a variety of compositions, textures, and features, but all beautiful and perfect in the eyes of our Father or Mother God. It is important that you remember that you have experienced every root race that has ever populated the earth meaning that you have been every color, and you have borne the characteristics of every race now embodied on your planet. We are telling you that you are a multifaceted being who has experienced all the richness and diversity that this earth, this solar system, galaxy, and universe has to offer. And so how can you judge your brothers and sisters, because in this lifetime they have different colored skin than you, because they have different customs, beliefs, and worship differently or call their god by a different name. It has been said, but bears saying over and over again, when you do so, you are only judging yourselves. Remember, beloveds, during these times of great change, you can make a difference. Shine your love or light for all to see. Allow us to assist you to fulfill your earthly mission and nurture you with our love. Together, we shall prevail. I am Archangel Michael.